link building challenge is an opportunity for us to build links back to Wikitree from other websites. So um, for instance, uh, find a grave is one that a lot of people do because it's real easy. So just a note about find a grave. You don't want to use the URL because it's against their um, code of conduct, but you can leave the profile ID uh, with a flower. So um, on the link building team page, actually, I think it's link builders team page here. There's a uh, kind of an example of what that looks like. So if you're familiar at all with find a grave, uh, that's just a really easy way to be able to share about Wikitree on these different sites. And it's similar for um, other sites like Ancestry. So for Ancestry, I leave a comment on a record. When you're looking at a record, uh, there's a place where you can leave a comment. And so I just leave the profile ID there. Then there's places like IMDB and Discogs websites, um, Internet Movie Database, and then Discogs is um, for musicians. And so the, you can add links back from there. Then there's fandom sites. So lots of opportunities really to kind of spread the word about Wikitree. And that's what it's all about um, because we uh, have pledged to stay 100% free forever. This is a way that we can help cost stay low and not spend money on advertising. And it's great cousin yeah. bait. So, <laughs> Asia, were you aware that when you when you add a, a citation to a profile in WikiTree, um, there is a corresponding link that says WikiTree on the fi Find a Grave site? Um, what do you? I'm sorry. What do you mean? So like, like when um, you, well, let me yeah, go into like, a profile real quick here. Um, I actually need to do a few. So I was going to, I had a few profiles that I created yesterday. I was going to use it as examples. So let me go into one here. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Do you mean the, the button that's here when they have a wiki tree profile? Yeah. Yeah. Ne next to suggestion edits, it probably takes, you know, the, the nightly update for it to appear. I don't know when you've done this, but. Yeah. Um, and it's, like it's from WikiTree B, the WikiTree B extension that does that, that uh -huh. adds that button. Yeah. 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 I know it's, an, it's pretty cool. I love that, that they did that. That's yeah. so, so handy. And it, it, it's on the cemetery as well. So if you click Mount Jacob, uh, it, it might be there as well. You'll see WikiTree. Right. If there's a category if thing. A yeah. Well, yeah. So like this one where you got share, add, favorite, volunteer, and WikiTree. Yeah. That's all from just adding the adding it to the profile or well, that's, creating a... This, that's from uh, there being a category present. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's really yeah. cool. I love it. I love our volunteer developers. They're so cool. <laughs> All the stuff they give <laughs> us. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I volunteer just... developers are great because they don't have someone telling them, you know, oh no, that's not in the budget or, you know, yeah. you got to do this first. They just see, they just see a need and fix it. Whereas if you, if you're trying to do it, it, as an employee, you always have direction from someone else as to what you're supposed to do first. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, um, it comes from the community, mm -hmm. you know, the need and the, the feedback. And so it's awesome because it, it's all about collaborating and what the best way to do things are and everything. So, okay. So I'm just going to walk through some examples here for this profile. So I just grab the, um, click this little scissor button for the ID and then go to the profile on find a grave and click leave a flower. And I have my own scrapbook. Everybody has their own scrapbook, which you can upload images to. And just uh, FYI, the image for the um, heart is, and also the, the main WikiTree logo are on the link builders challenge page. 
and on the link link builders team page. Um, so you can get those from there if you want. Okay, so back to here. So I just, I like doing the heart one and then I just do the profile ID and then on WikiTree and then add flower note. And if I upload a photo, I also add it in the comment for the photo too, so. That's a good idea. So that's find a grave. Uh, let me go over and grab his family search. And then here's a ancestry record that we can add it to. So I just add note, plop that in there. And then I have saved in my clipboard, uh, just a little phrase to put in the comment part or the note part. Let's see, where is it at? There it is. Because it uh, it's a way to let them know that there are more because family search, unless somebody goes through the adding the sources to the sources tab from like Ancestry or other sites, then um, Wikitree is really the best place because it has, you can add sources from all over. So it's just a kind of a blanket statement that I make there. And then here's the record on Ancestry. And right here, uh, you can see be the first to comment. So I just plop that in there and it's good to go. So it's not an actual URL, but um, it is like we've mentioned cousin bait for anybody who want, who checks this record out. So, and I usually go through and add it to any birth, marriage or death records as well while I'm at it, just because those are the main things that people seem to look at for the most part, I mean, that they're going to get more traction because they have actual birth, marriage, or death information. So um, I don't, I don't worry about doing the censuses, but it's whatever you want to do. But once you have something saved in your clipboard, it's real easy to just plop it in there and hit go. <laughs> so anyway, that's that one. Um, I think I have one that I can do or show at least um wiki wikipedia let me hi elaine i'm using examples from um the challenge for showing how to do some things so let's see i just gonna i just uh, got the sound working and now i can hear you oh cool. yeah that's great <laughs> i was just gonna use yeah them i've as done examples too. um so uh so here's a wiki wikipedia article so to link back to Wikitree, which it's already been done, um, you can see, because I have Wikitree B extension, you can see that uh, there's a link here for Wikitree. This is the wiki data uh, template. And then this is the, just a internal link from uh, to wiki, the Wikipedia article that you can grab here if you want. It just brings up a, something you can copy from there. But to add a link. So if you click, oh, go ahead. If you click the one with, if you click the one with just the brackets, will it give the wiki data link to or only? Oh, I meant the straight brackets. If you click the curly brackets, it gives. Both. Okay, sorry, I'm not phrasing this well. Which way do both of them show wiki data, or only one of them does? Just the one with the curly brackets. Got it. Thanks. Yeah. So to add a link to WikiTree from. Uh, wiki data you just click this wiki data item link right here and that takes you into the wiki data page for this person and then you just scroll all the way down <laughs> and you can add a statement Doo -doo -doo. there's a lot of items here okay here we go add statement oh it's already there so but this is what i just wanted to walk through and show you what it looks like so you, you just start, start typing in Wikitree and it populates there for you what your options are. Um, so you'll see, just want to say something real quick about this. So if you look, you have an option for the person ID, or if you're talking about a location or a subject, you could also link back to Wikitree, a category or a space page. So it's a great way there it's not there's not a way you can actually track that you've done that but uh for the challenge but it is a great little extra 
credit thing if you want to do that for something subjects or places you're interested in. So then you just put in the Wikitree ID like you see here and hit the publish button. So that's, it's pretty easy to do that. Um, let's see. I did somebody the other day, just show you what that looks like real quick. Um, JD Souther died and I did his profile and I think I did his IMDB page, but I just want to double check. Oh yeah. Okay. So his profile on IMDB and then he has a profile on Discogs. So if you scroll down towards the bottom here, it gives you an option to edit the page and then you can go in all the way to the bottom and I'll just kind of take you through what that looks like real quick. Computer's taking a while to load. <laughs> oh, it's wanting me to sign in and I don't have it on this account. But anyway, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the edit screen, you have an option to um, add miscellaneous links and then you can add the link to, to Wikitree. And there's screenshots um, I think that we have on the Link Builders team page. You can see, and then here's Discogs. You can see I added the link to Wikitree for him. So just spreading the word. So this is a full URL and so is um, IMDB. And places like um, TARDISpedia are also full links. So just kind of different options for you there. Um, Newspapers.com is another place you can leave. Uh, the profile ID. Let me just go here. I think I did it already. Yeah. So if you click this edit, you can just put the clip title. You can put whatever you want, um, but if you want to also add in there at the end, uh, this little his profile ID and then on Wikitree, it's just another way to leave Cousin Bait. So now that Stephanie and Danita have joined us, hello, Stephanie. Hello. So I uh, just hello. wanted to share what we did last month. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for all your hard work. We did 811 ancestors and Danita was top first place there. Great job. So 811 ancestors with 1,079 1, links total. There we go. So that's awesome. Yeah, our uh, the majority of the links seem to be for find a grave and family search, which is fine. That's great. That's I mean, the majority of the profiles are going to be for those anyway. So, and we had twenty two people taking part. That's pretty great. I think we've got twenty this twenty one this month so far. Great. So that's awesome to see i've been lagging behind i need to get get busy get some added this month <laughs> I've had so for find a grave it, it, for find a grave it's only counting the ones where you add the heart and it's not counting the ones that already have a wiki tree link on the um yeah the the ones with the wiki tree link don't count because it's only going to show for people who have that wiki tree b extension it doesn't show for everybody. Okay, because that, that's what I use. <laughs> yeah, it, that's fine. It seems redundant to add the heart. But you're, you've already not the everybody has that Wikitree B extension, though. So no, not everybody's seeing that. Mm. Yeah. So what's everybody else been working on? Do you have any questions? Do you want to share anything? So Gwen, uh, on, your aunt, on your question, I don't know um, about... If you can add, um, edit the title when you're using the library subscription. I don't know if you have an option to edit, if you can clip or not, so. I can check it out and see. Okay, cool. Because we have one that you can access it from home, the library subscription, so. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I'm sorry, Elaine, I guess I'm not catching what you're putting down there. Oh, you mean, don't forget to add the 
family source ID on the WikiTrue profile, right hand side. Let yeah, you know, just open any old profile and, um, or one of the ones you recently did, like Jack, uh, maybe it's on there. Okay, scroll down with your set. Okay, under collaboration, keep going. Okay, add family search ID oh, yeah. under reach. Right. So if you, and I almost posted this in tech chat the other day, but I didn't because I'm like, eh, I don't want to ask more people more things. But <laughs> if you do put, so yeah, if you go in and put that on there, then tell me what, oh, I always put it, okay, go to add new connection down there, like scroll down. Oh, normally that's autofilled, the wiki tree ID. It might be that's because I backed weird. out. Let me try it again. Okay. There we go. Right. Now put it there. Okay. So now look at, now go back to his profile and tell me if you think it's too hard to see that family search ID once it's on there. See, it says, here's a likely matching profile. Okay. The ID is kind of small and it's not super obvious that it's, it's yeah. just the text. And I thought, well, it could be bolder, the text slightly larger. I don't know. Cause sometimes I come across a profile. I'm like, oh man, I need to add that ID. But then I'm like, oh wait, it's already there um yeah it's not anyway. like really obvious that it's there yeah, it's, it'd be yeah. nice if it was like Just highlighted and bolded or something something yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um yeah and at first I thought like a year ago when I saw here's a likely matching thing I thought that meant like wiki tree like somehow auto id'd it from family search and said it was likely but in fact that's us clicking the button mm -hmm. and, and doing saying it. certain but still it's like yeah whatever it's I know. <laughs> but yeah, mainly I just want that little thing a little bolder or bigger or something. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So I whenever agree. I add a family search, whenever I add the wiki tree ID in the collaborate section on family search, I also do that thing here. I usually. was wondering, I wonder who, because I think this is, I mean, um, I would mention it for the Hacktoberfest thing. Definitely. Yeah, I can mention, yeah, I think they're like building fun stuff. But anyway, yeah, I can. But I, I think that would be something really easy for them to do. Somebody, I would I think mean, so. It's I more think like it would just be easy to knock off, you know, an easy grab. Oh yeah, I'm for, sure it'd be somebody. easy. It's more of a matter of if other <laughs> if 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 the problem is I'm blind and no one else wants. No, I I bigger. think it's I think it would be a good. <laughs> I mean, I think everybody would agree that it'd be good if it could be a little more prominent in some way because it, yeah. it isn't. It fades into the background. Yeah. There's so much other stuff there that it's. Yeah. Yeah. I'll mention is, is it. That, is that available? That That's from the core. That seems to me like that's a core function, right? Yeah, it you is. You don't have to have a, you don't have to have any, um, yeah. any extensions on to see that. And unfortunately, it's not on the iPhone. So I'm wondering if with the, or I don't use another mobile device. So I don't know about Android or whatever, but I wonder when the, whenever the new WikiTree picture format, whatever you call it, slight website rebuild comes out. I wonder, I know mobile, some things should be better for mobile. I wonder if that's on the list to have the family search ID um, on it. I know that space is at a premium on a mobile phone, but um, yeah. I like adding it. It'd be good for me. I don't know if it'd just be clutter for everyone else, but um, <laughs> anyway. I tend to put it in either in the biography too. I usually put it in a research note, you know, that thing that says WikiTree ID, the, the template. I usually put it in there too, because I think a lot of people don't even think to look on the side. They're reading the biography more mm -hmm. than they are looking at all the other things. So I use, I, if I can, if I'm not too busy <laughs> when I'm doing it, I, I put it in both places. Yeah. I put it actually in the profile and then click the button. But because I just know some people, they're really profile oriented. You know, they're looking at the biography more than they're looking at all the things that go on around. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it's nice to have it in both places. I do like, though, that now we have the the ability just to get directly to the contribution thing without having to go through the edit process to get it to pop up because there are sometimes when it's already there 
Yeah. But it hasn't actually been linked. Nothing's been put on to family search, for example, and no one's put it into the little, the little box. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have to edit the profile. So it's nice to be able now to get there without having to go through all the machinations we used to. Oh yeah. I need to go add, but I, <laughs> I forgot that I just, I just did, did one. I need to go add that I did it. Just a second. That's the thing that you forget, and you when you go back to it, you're like, oh, I can't have to go back and edit. I used to have to edit it to to, yeah. to add it. So now it's just like, it really oh, I nice. forgot it. Well, I'll go back and I'll just go back and do this quickly. All right. Okay, does anybody else want to see anything or have any questions about finding stuff to work on? Maybe um, there's on the Link Builders Challenge page, there's uh, Wikitree Plus queries that you can just click the link and it'll take you to uh, Wikitree Plus. So there's one here for um, people who have the notable sticker but aren't in Wikidata. So that's something that could be worked on. You could go through and add the Wikidata uh, or Wikitree to Wikidata for them. So just got to remember to hit the get profiles button there. Or you can search for profiles that have imdb.com. And actually we do have an IMDB template now. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but let me just show that to you. It's pretty simple. It's just um, adding the IMDB profile to the only parameter in there. So it's pretty simple. And so I'll add that as an option for a search to look for the template for IMDB. You can also look for profiles that have a link to Discogs or Wikipedia or TARDIS Wiki. <laughs> if you like doing fandom pages, they're kind of fun. What's TARDIS? For Doctor Who? Uh, okay, got it. Yeah. Yep. There's a whole bunch of other uh, I just put a couple examples from fandom pages. I know there's a ton out there. I know there's ones for like Olympians and, um, you know, different sports and movies and different things like that. So unless somebody has something, we'll go ahead and let you guys go and get back to your days. Thanks for joining me. I really love it when everybody can get together for a little bit. It's kind of fun. Thanks, Azure. Hey, yeah. Thank you. We got a bigger group now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I thought, well, I should go ahead and put out a G2G post just specifically about the cubicle parties because I know some people were like, what's a cubicle party? So, <laughs> and what's link building? So, all right. Well, you guys have a good day. Bye -bye. Thanks. You have a good day as well. Bye. 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 Oh,